Growth stocks have been taking a hiding lately and that is due to Jerome Powell and the Fed coming out saying that inflation is probably not transitory, it's here to stay. This means that interest rates will be going up and growth stocks will be selling off. And that's exactly what started to happen with Tesla as well. In the last day, it's actually down 6.4% and in the last month, it is down 12.72%. However, in the last five years, this stock is still up 2,500 40%. What's interesting is that this stock at some point was the most shorted stock. However, now it is one of the stocks that have performed the greatest. So in this video, I'm not going to go into detail when it comes to Tesla. I'm going to put them through our 18 point checklist, which is divided up into three different segments, the fundamentals, the momentum, and then the growth. Finally, I will do a quick valuation on the company to see what I think is a fair price to pay for the stock. So let's start off by looking at the stock overview first. Currently, this stock is trading under the ticket TSL. A, and they've got a market cap of 1 trillion US dollars. The price at the IPO was $6.66. Today, this stock is trading at $1,014. The PE ratio trading at an enormous 331.52. And the net margin is 7.4, which is actually not bad for an automaker. The net equity is 23 billion. That puts the equity to market cap at 2.26. So our benchmark is generally around 10%. Now they don't pay a dividend at all, but they are still left with free cash flows of 2.5 billion US dollars. So now that we've looked at the stock overview, let's skip over the key ratios of the stock and head straight into the 18 point checklist to see how they perform in terms of the fundamentals, the momentum and then the growth. Now, of course, if you want to see the key ratios, you can always head over to our website where you can get access to all of our courses absolutely free of charge. You will also get access to our spreadsheet where you can check out the key ratios and the year on year data. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to skip over that and head straight into the 18 point checklist because I know you only want to know what my verdict is around the sock. So heading over to my 18 point checklist, the PE ratio unfortunately not between 1 and 25. The net margin also not greater than 10%. The assets are greater than the liabilities and the dividend cost is less than the free cash flow. Now obviously they don't pay a dividend so they automatically qualify for this point. The debt to equity is less than 40% and the current ratio is greater than 1. But unfortunately the shareholders have been slightly diluted in the last 3 years. Now moving over to the momentum questions and this is where they have performed absolutely exceptional. So the revenues, the gross profit, the operating income and the net income and the operating cash flows have been growing year on year. This company has a lot of momentum behind them and they are just growing at an astronomical rate at the moment. Unfortunately the free cash flows had a slowdown in the trailing 12 months and if it wasn't for the trailing 12 months this would also have been growing year on year. Moving over to the growth questions. Now the share price have definitely doubled since the IPO. The return on equity is greater than 10%. Unfortunately, the return on assets not. Now the return on invested capital also greater than 10%. And the earnings per share have also been growing by a compounded annual growth rate of more than 10% in the last three years. So as you can see on the 18 point checklist, it's looking really, really good. So now we are going to quickly do a valuation on this company. And what I did was I used the earnings per share as my valuation method because I know the company also spends a lot on capital expenditure in order to grow the company. So let's have a look at the DCF model on the earnings per share. So I used a discount rate of 10% and I used three different scenarios, a bear case, a median case, and then a bull case. So this is basically what the analysts expect this company to be growing at in the next five years. So the analysts are expecting Tesla to be growing between 33 and 70% over the next five years annually. And I used a fair target PE ratio of 30. Now, obviously they are trading at 331, but looking at the auto industry, it's trading at around 22 however they are a growth stock so I'm going to use 30 as the multiple which is already pretty bullish in my case so I used a bear case of 33% which is really really good growth 50 for the median and then 70 for the bull case and I also used 30 as the target PE ratio this gives you a bear case of $201 a median case of $319 and then a bull case of $519 which makes it an average case of $346 now I know I'm going to attract a lot of hate comments on this valuation model because a lot of people will tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I've got absolutely no idea, but I don't care. I'm not here to win a popularity contest. I don't want to be overpaying for a stock. And that's why I do 
these valuation models. And that's also why I'm conservative on this valuation. Now I know that Tesla might be growing a lot faster than that. They might be growing at a far better rate. But like I said, I prefer to be conservative when it comes to my numbers. So for those reasons, I chose the numbers that I chose. Now, if you want to use your own valuation model, you can head over to our website. I've got an Excel spreadsheet where you can do your own valuations and you can see where you come out. But at the moment, I'm just not getting to the current price levels. So let's head over to the verdict. So as you can see on the verdict, they scored 57% for the fundamentals. So the fundamentals actually looks pretty great. The momentum, absolutely incredible, 83%. On the growth side, also absolutely exceptional, sitting at 80%. Now the analysts are predicting a 12-month target of $857. If we head over to the analyst projections, you will see they are neutral on the stock, rating at 3.4 out of 5. 11 being very bullish four being bullish, 10 being neutral, and then six being bearish, three being very bearish. If we scroll down, you will see that they are predicting an average price of $857 with a high of $1,400 and a low of $236. Heading over back to my verdict, you will see my price projection sitting at around 346% and that is my price projection of course for today. This will give me a potential loss of $668 or 65.87%. So for that reason I think that Tesla is definitely overvalued at the moment. So don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Tesla, I love what they're doing. Elon Musk actually is from the same country as I am, which is South Africa. So I am a big fan of Elon, I think he is an absolute marketing genius as well. However, looking at Tesla and looking at the valuation today, I would absolutely love to own the stock. However, I would not like to buy it at the current price levels. If there is a very good correction in the market, then I will definitely buy Tesla stock. But at the moment, it feels like I will be overpaying for the stock. Now, if you want to see stocks that we feel are actually undervalued at the moment, simply click on the link coming up in this screen right now.